Hi folks, time for your weight loss uh, motivation for this week. Um, did the uh, British 10K, uh, or 6 miles, <laughs> no, 6.2, 2, 5 miles I think it is, uh, depending on where you're from. Uh, so that was a run in London basically, it was a nice flat run uh, around sort of uh, some of the sites of London, so the Eye, the Embankment, the Parliament, um, House of Parliament, Big Ben you saw, um, we saw, what else did we go past, um, finished up not far from Buckingham Palace by the Cenotaph, so it's quite a big event, there was 25,000 people there, it was, it was mainly supporting Help for Heroes, um, so the charity that supports sort of uh, the soldiers and whatever else in the army and the, and the military, which is great. So, I mean, we're, irrespective of, of me doing that, that's not the point. The point really was that it was interesting, the mix of people that were there, because there was a lot of different people there. There was people walking, there was people running, there was athletes there who were doing it in, like, ridiculous times. But there was a lot of people there just doing it... Um, because it meant something to them. I mean, I ran past one girl, and she was only a young girl, and it had on the back of a vest. She was doing it from the memory of her son, so you can imagine he, was, he must have been quite young when he passed away. And what this tells us is that, that volume of people doing that volume of, of, of goodness in the world, I think, how does he stand for, for learning about sort of weight loss and, and approaching things? Is I think... What you tend to do is there needs to be a point to what you're doing. Um, where people tend to fail, particularly with weight loss, and I think this is one of only a small percentage of people that, that keep it off, is that people, um, they don't do it for a particular reason that means anything. So it, it's kind of like if you look at somebody who's going to run six miles or even walk six miles in that sort of heat for the first time, um, and it means something to them. That's why they're doing it. They're not doing it just because, oh, I'm just going to go knock out a 10K. It's, you know, I did it. I mean, I knocked out the 10K, but it was it was important. It was it was like, you know, it was an event. It was like, well, I've done the British 10K. It's like a big event, and I was there, and I experienced it. And I've got another medal for my, um, for my thing. So it's kind of like it, 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 you know, it means something to, to you. I mean, let me show you something. This is my, uh, I'm going to take you for a little tour around um, my... Uh, my flat now, so I'm just walking through into my uh, into the bedroom where the uh, the magic doesn't happen. I mean, if you look at that, that's my. Um, I'll show you this. That's my the medals that I've got. So, you know, that's my my marathon vest that I did for my, my, my mother who passed away in February. If you didn't know that already, and here are some of my medals, um, which again. All those sort of things, they, they mean something to me. So it's important and that's why I do what I do and go out and do what I do because these things mean something to me. So it's exactly the same with, with that yesterday. So it's just finding something that's going to mean something to you. And everyone's different, you know, everyone's got their own different paths, their own different goals, ambitions, aspirations, all these things. But it's finding something that means something that fires you on. So for example, if it's, oh, I need, I need to lose a bit of weight, well that's okay, but what does that mean? Does that mean something to you? Is that going to get you out and do it? Is that going to get you out and excited and, oh, I'm doing this event or that event or I'm losing weight for this purpose or that purpose? And this is why people fail. There's no lot, there's no sort of, there's no fire to it. There's no sort of ambition. There's no longer term vision. There's no longer term goals. So, on that basis, um, what I want people to start to think about or, or start to process in their minds is what is it you can do that means something to you that's going to that's gonna be important and how can then your health and fitness journey then link into that? How can it matter? How can you think about it? How can it be important? And then go out and just do it and then go out and do the things that, that mean something to you and, and, and get them done. So it's important. Does that make sense? Because these people yesterday, they weren't athletes, a lot of them. They were just doing it because it meant something. So if you're doing it for somebody else, you're doing it for a reason, it's important. Don't follow the the crowd of, oh, I'm on a, I see it all the time on Facebook, all this, oh, I've had a cake today, I'm trying to be good. Like, you're weird. Like, that's weird, and eating crap is, is, is important. So, um... That's the message for today, really. Make it important, make it mean something, find something that impo is important, and then link your health and fitness journey into that. Right, I'm going to be doing a video diary for the next few weeks, starting soon, because I'm going to be involved in a uh, project. 
um, in terms of eating sugar and uh, and um, and carbohydrates to test how it affects my health. So stay tuned for that. Um, it's a documentary, so it's uh, it's quite cool. But stay tuned for that, guys. Thanks everyone for the support. Uh, watch this space for. I'm going to be doing some online uh, stuff, some remote personal training. I want to sort of help a few more people in terms of the journey. So stay tuned for that. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's all good at the moment. Uh, sun's out. Brilliant. Have some fun. Uh, stay tuned for the fun. Make it mean something to you. Have a good day. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.